Hey guys, welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Mercedes G65 Wagon Ride-On. Now this was sent over by Best Choice Products. For your very own, check out their link down below in the description. Now, this particular car actually is really cool just because it's an AMG version and it's matte black as well as a lot of different fancy gadgets and gizmos. So I'm really excited to try it out, but before we do, let's go ahead and unbox it and build it. to build this and uh, you can see all the different components over here we got our big body here as well as our seat a hood some wheels a center console a steering wheel among other parts now in terms of the instruction manual itself it's got a lot of nice detailed pictures here kind of showing you exactly how to put it together so that's actually really nice and with that being said let's go ahead and build this all right so the first thing we're going to do is install our rear bracket Next, we're gonna go ahead and install the dashboard. Then we go ahead and install the wires just like this and kind of leave our dashboard window just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and mount this here. This here's our hood. So we just do the front one just like that. Okay, and then we just go ahead and connect our battery. Okay, next we're gonna install our steering hook. Okay. Install the steering wheel now by doing this. And then we just install the rear window just like that. Alright, check this out. Our Mercedes is finally done and this thing looks awesome. I mean, look at it. It's nice matte black with a chrome finish on it. Really pops. And as we walk our way around the vehicle, check out all the small details. It's really authentic according to the Mercedes logo in which it actually lives up to the brand quite well. Now, as we move our way to the front of the vehicle, look at the grill itself. That thing is huge. In addition, you'll get some nice looking projectors as well as fog lights, even these corner lights. Now, you do get a nice looking license plate that says AMG as well as a logo on the hood and you get a cool looking plastic glass as well as realistic wipers. Then you get this chrome looking finish ring that goes around and then you get a nice looking V12 bi-turbo logo on the side as well as these big rims with Brembo brakes. And then as we move our way to the inside of the car, take a look at the radio. <laughs> You do get a USB port which you can actually plug in your own music as well as control the different audio with an SD port as well. Now you do get an LED screen over here that allows you to play different radio frequencies so you can actually listen to the radio while you drive this thing. The horn itself does work as well as the ability to play music by pressing this button as well. And then as we move to the back you actually see the seat itself. Wow this thing is really nice. It almost looks like real leather and it feels like it too. It's got nice looking stitching as well as an embossed Mercedes logo as well. And it does have a nice diamond pattern stitching. So it actually looks really nice and it's almost really authentic to the real thing. Now as we move our way to the back of the vehicle, you do get a spare looking tire cover over here with the Mercedes logo in it. You get an AMG badge over here as well as the authentic looking tail lights that actually don't light up unfortunately. Now it does say G65 wagon here and it says AMG on the bottom over here. So it actually looks really cool and actually it looks almost baller status. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So there's a power switch that's right over here. Hear that baby roar. <laughs> so now that we turned it on, all the lights are working. 
Uh, to kind of give you an idea better on how the lights look, let's go ahead and turn off the light itself in the actual garage. There we go. You can actually see the projecting lights against the wall. It's actually quite bright. And then on the front here, you just see it lights itself. So you get some two looking LEDs in the bottom, as well as projectors on the top. Then in terms of the interior itself, the gauges do light up, which you can see right there. And then you get the frequency over here. And then you can actually play in different music as well. And even the power button lights up as well. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. Now, when we press this button here, we'll actually turn on the horn. And which the LEDs in the front will blink as well. Now this controls music. So it kind of gives you an idea of what kind of songs that are played on here. So they're more geared towards children, which is quite nice, but you can always play your own music as well. Now, in addition to that, the details, as I said, are really phenomenal. Uh, the only downside is that the doors don't open. Now, besides that, it does come with a remote, which allows you to control the car itself. So you simply press the button like this, and then you can just drive it just like that. And then you do get control over the steering. You can go ahead and reverse it. And you go forward. Which is quite nice. So overall it's a nice car. Uh, it looks really impressive. Especially just kind of sitting there. I really like the way it looks. Uh, definitely a nice showpiece as well as makes your kid look almost like a GQ baller. <laughs> And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the G-Wagon, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.